Thank you, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to uh, The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, yeah. folks... Folks, the suspense has finally broken. We've been waiting for nine days to learn who would control the House of Representatives. Well, you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. Not this time, because <laughs> Republicans have won control of the House of Representatives. I know. I know, it's disappointing. Though it is nice to see Republicans take the House without any zip ties. <laughs> Votes are still... It's, refre it's refreshing is what it is. Yeah. Votes are still being counted in some swing districts, so we don't have the final tally, but Republicans are likely to control a slimmer majority than many expected. So it's bad, but not as bad as you feared. It's the political equivalent of Papa John's. <laughs> this means the new Speaker of the House will likely be California Congressman Kevin McCarthy, <laughs> seen here realizing that wasn't a raisin he just ate. <laughs> With an incredibly thin majority, many are predicting a chaotic term for a weak speaker, but Kevin thinks any majority gives you the same amount of power as he explained. The one thing I know in Washington, they don't hand the gavels out in small, medium, and large size. Here with a rebuttal, former Speaker John Boehner holding his actual <laughs> gavel, which was so large, he could summon it like Mjolnir. A lot of folks think McCarthy is in for a bit of a rough ride, with one Republican noting, it's like herding cats, trying to get everybody together. And another pointed out, you can't lose anybody. Any one person becomes kind of an island to themselves. That island? Turds and cuckoos. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you very much. What an honor. The point is, McCarthy has a horrible job where horrible people have the power to make him do horrible things. And one person who comes pre-horribled is Georgia Congresswoman and... <laughs> and top dumb Marjorie Taylor Greene. Greene threw her support behind Kevin McCarthy for speaker. In exchange, she says, he's gonna give me a lot of power and a lot of leeway, and predicts she'll be on committees investigating traitors and criminals. I can't wait to see the investigation she launches. What's Hunter Biden's Wi-Fi password? Who distributed spoons to the gazpacho police? Where does the water in my sponge go at night? Is it siphoned off to a secret Jewish space loofah? This was also... I demand answers. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do an impression. There is no way. There's also a big day for outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, seen here waiting for Tony Stark to land so she can tell him about the Avengers initiative. <laughs> With Republicans winning the House, Pelosi took to the floor to announce her plans for the future. My colleagues, I stand before you as Speaker of the House, as a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a devout Catholic, a proud Democrat, and a patriotic American. I'm also proficient with Word, Excel, and Outlook. <laughs> Plus, I can drive stick and I speak conversational Spanish. Hola. <laughs> I believe I will be a perfect member of your team. She then got a subtle dig in at a political opponent. See if you can spot it. I have enjoyed working with three presidents achieving historic investments in clean energy with President George Bush. Transformative health care reform with President Barack Obama. <laughs> and forging the future from infrastructure to health care to climate action with President Joe Biden. Ooh. She left out a president. What was his name again, Nancy? The poo poo. Thank you. Thank you. I, s I don't like saying his name, but she is fine. Then, after two decades in leadership, the first female Speaker of the House made her big announcement. With great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. There it is. 
Nancy Pelosi, after years of service, is leaving the Democratic leadership, I assume to be the next host of The Daily Show. <laughs> but turns out, this doesn't mean Pelosi's resigning from Congress. She plans to take an emeritus role that would allow her to offer counsel to her colleagues. Yes, she'll remain a mentor to the younglings. She's Obi-Wan Pelosi. <laughs> but... Sure. Sure. But that's not the only reason she decided to remain. Reportedly, President Biden personally asked her to stay, telling her, I hope you stick. Come on, Nance. Why would you leave? You're in the prime of your 80s. I call that pee-pop puberty. <laughs> Started getting hair in all new places. Earlobe, knuckle, tip of my nose. Come on. <laughs> Senior skip day. Get in the Corvette. We're heading to the woods to smoke Boniva. Come on. <laughs> don't, don't fear the Reaper, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to hear that song. <laughs> And is this, is this happening? I'm being told that it's time for tonight's No Context Herschel Walker. <laughs> what I'm about to show you is an actual clip from a speech Herschel Walker gave yesterday about... It doesn't really matter what it was about. <laughs> Just please enjoy this clip, which, once again, I assure you is 100% real and unaltered in any way. Jim? I don't know if you know vampires are cool people, are they not? But I'm gonna tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? I never knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. A clarion call that is sure to galvanize the electorate. Vote Walker for werewolf. <laughs> and this has been tonight's No Context Herschel Walker. Unfortunately, we are still hearing from private citizen Carrie Lake seen here left hanging by the voters of Arizona. <laughs> even though, even though her race was called on Monday, Lake has dug in on claims of voter fraud. And last night, to make the point that she was never going to concede, Lake dropped this new ad. Okay, that's not good, but you can't blame her iPhone for putting together a memory called At the Fascist Rally. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Thank you. Fascist. Now, if you're a Tom Petty fan, you'll recognize his song, I Won't Back Down. Also, you can continue to be a Tom Petty fan because a spokesperson for Tom Petty's estate confirmed that Lake's use of the song was not approved or endorsed. <laughs> and... Exactly. Come on. You know you've crossed a line when Tom Petty's representatives tell you to please back down. <laughs> That's like lawyers for Guns N' Roses telling you that you are no longer welcome in the jungle. <laughs> so... <laughs> Go on. Go on. So they didn't approve that song, but maybe they would approve uh, a different Tom Petty song. We at The Late Show have a suggestion. We got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Michelle Williams and the winner.